Hello, <clears throat> good people of the world. We're playing more Fire Emblem. And we're gonna go talk to more people. Whoever's in the corner. There. Perhaps. All this month, His Highness has been going out late into the night. He will not speak of it to me. Professor, do you happen to know anything? As I recall. Lord Arundel is here? That may well explain it. His Highness's headaches have been growing steadily worse. I would prefer that he retire to bed early. Hey! Hello. You know, Professor, the tournament fish, and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? Uh, hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? No. I'm B. Felix. <clears throat> no. Yes, that's mine. Thank you. You know, Professor, why all <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like I have a request. Mock battle. That's mine. Thank you. Probably. Wow. You know, for why all. <laughs> oh. No. That. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh. Except that Tomas departed the monastery and has yet to return. Consider that reported. He's been gone for periods of time before and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still, I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. Professor. What do you require? Farewell. Hey! <laughs> Is that so? I'm worried about Ramire. That affliction is a little too mysterious for my liking. I'm pretty sure it's not normal. Heard it's not an ordinary disease. <clears throat> then what could it be? me some mighty fish just you wait and see I didn't catch a single fish last month but this month oh this month I'm to give up <laughs> that's exactly what Captain Gerald said you're going with the captain to investigate Ramire village soon aren't you it feels like so long ago that you two came here No. Hey. Hey. 
Wait a minute. What you've got there, isn't that... Please, could you let me have that? Here, I'll give you this in return. Okay. Fantastic. Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy this makes me. No, that's not... My father came by during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. He left soon after, but I saw him talking to Edelgard first. I wonder what they could have to talk about. Business, perhaps? I guess that would make sense. He is the Minister of Military Affairs, after all. Still, though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. figure medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Medicine is all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms with, well, medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. There is someone upstairs this time. What? Well, good day, Professor. Well then, I should go. Yes, this is mine. What? Thank you for returning it. I never would have guessed that was hers. where you met Edelgard. If you had not been there, something terrible could have happened. Did one of the house leaders know that mercenaries were staying in Remire Village? I wonder. It will remain a mystery for now. All we can do at this point is speculate. There's your tea leaves. Oh, I was looking for this. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, soon. Um, thanks. Earth? <coughs> I've been looking for this. Thank you so much. Hey there. Sure. Come 
my gosh. What is this quest? What? Wait, Professor, you've been getting along really well. Almost too well with the students, all the students lately. Friendships between teachers and students are wholly unacceptable. We will hear you defend your actions in the tournament. Okay. That was dumb. I'm not gonna waste my Professor. kidney points. Okay. Hey, you. Professor. You have my thanks. What okay. is it? I assume you still. I. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say. Professor. to bake sweets okay Hello. first of all oh they're both up it was in Rumire that you first half a year This is so weird. I appreciate this. I appreciate this. This is my... Hey, uh... Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey! It worked out perfectly. Want to trade me what you're holding for it? Yes. Thanks, Professor. This is great. Hey, that's my... Can I go back to the church? this oh, thank you so much I'll be sure to take great care of it gotta go with the other person uh -huh. impressive 
Thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna back up to Marianne. Professor. Professor. Okay. I'll talk, buddy. Aha! Found ya! You're always nosing around places, aren't you, Professor? Can be real hard to find you sometimes. Sorry about that. No worrying about it. I just wanted to talk to you about a thing today. Do you remember how Lady Rhea asked you to come to the office this evening? Well, she told me that I should come to let you know that today's a bad day for doing that, and you should go and see her tomorrow instead. That's pretty much everything I needed to say, I think. Oh, except to ask you if you've seen Sedith around anywhere. I have not, sorry. Okay, I'm supposed to tell Sedith the thing Lady Rhea told me to tell you, but he's hard to find. Want me to tell him for you? Nah, I'll find him myself. But if you see him, then find me, please, and tell me where you saw him, okay? Cause then I'll know where he is. I'll be in the stables if you need me. Gotta put out the fodder before it's the next kid's shift. Don't want her thinking I left my work for her to do. Oh, but if I'm not in the stables and you need to find me, I'll be at the forest up north, cause there's a bunch of logs lying around up there. I figure I ought to chop him up, or else someone might trip on a log, or we might run out of firewood. And if I chop, then it'll save other people time. If it looks like I'm done there, then the quarters need to be sweeped. So if you see Sedith and you need to find me, then I might be there. Can I help you with anything? Nope. This is my job. I'm not giving it to anyone else because it's mine and I'm gonna do it. Besides, if you help me out, Lady Rhea might give me an earful. I don't know why, but Lady Rhea sure does seem to like you. She's always worried about what you might be doing or not doing. That's so. Oh yeah, not that it's any of my business. Anyways, Lady Rhea asked me to do some jobs, so I'm doing them all. Even some she didn't ask for, but I know need doing, so I'm doing them. End of story. And remember, if you see Sadith around, come find me and tell me where you saw him, yeah? Seems like it'll be tough to find you. Huh? But I just told you where I'd be. If I'm not in the stables, I'll be at the forest. If I'm not... Oh, I see. You're right. I'm all over the place, huh? I don't want to waste your time, Professor. So if you see Sedith, how about you tell him I was looking for him and then tell him all the places I'll be? Then he can spend his time looking for me instead of you. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. A real good plan. Let's do that. See you later, Professor. Busy body, that one. Well, um, if it's not too much of a bother, Girl, thank okay. you so much. I'll treasure it. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm gonna go all over the place. That's a nice thing you have there, Professor. Don't suppose you're planning on using it yourself. Why don't you trade it for this? Sounds good, right? Okay. Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Professor, hand it over and I'll make it worth your while. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Excuse me. I asked first. 
Why don't we let the professor decide? Come here. Her? <sighs> what a letdown. You made the right choice. Here's your reward. I'll let you borrow it later, Catherine, if you quit sulking. Thanks. Yay. Thanks. It's not mine. It's not mine. I finally done? Gosh. Let's eat some food. Oh, this takes me back. I used to love this when I was a child. This looks delicious. Let's eat. Many meals in my time, but this is divine. Everybody's happy. That means I can do training. in half a year. I still have much... Really? Oh. Yeah. Professor! The situ... Go. Instruct manually. Hey. That was helpful. Yay. I did not know I had such power. Oh, my God. 
I answered. No need for me. I have deepened. It's in my... I appreciate your efforts. Yay. I've deepened my understanding. This could be useful. Quite intriguing. I've learned a lot. I believe I am better suited to healing than to fighting. Rather than train with traditional weapons then, I think it best for me to focus upon my faith. Okay. Pretty good job if I do say so myself. Yay! Each new experience is an asset. It's all coming together. It all makes sense now. <laughs> I'm getting better at this. I'm looking sharp, huh? I've still got room to grow. All that studying has paid dividends. I'm gonna do who needs one though? I don't need any seals, okay. I must continue to... Now we battle. Oh my gosh. So let's just do this and get over with. Ingrid, I never hear you sigh like that. Oh, hi, Dorothea. 
and hello, Professor. Nothing's the matter. Well, nothing major. You don't look like it's nothing major. <laughs> then again, I suppose you always have a furrowed brow, don't you? Truth be told, there's rather a lot going on. It seems that there's always something to worry about. What do you worry about? A childhood friend who's always causing trouble, my family, things like that. You see, I received a letter from my father recently. From Count Galatea? What a kind gentleman to have for a father. I thank you. But the content within the letter is what I find troubling. Let me see. Oh, it's a marriage proposal. For you. You know the suitor? I've not met him, though I've heard his name here and there. He began life as a merchant, but has somehow achieved rank in court. An enterprising noble from an allied territory. It's most likely that he wants the crest of Daphnal that I bear to adorn his family name. Hmm, yes, that sounds about right. The jerk. You sound as though you know him. Do you? Yes, I must admit that I know him. He tried to court me when I was a singer. Best advice I can give you, Ingrid? Stay far, far away from this guy. He's offered a sizable dowry, so I must at least consider it. For the sake of my family. Dowry? <laughs> Blood money. That's all it is. Dorothea, I... This jerk's entire fortune is soaked in blood. Do you want to rebuild your own house using that kind of money? <sighs> I mean, it's all just rumors, but I think it still might be worth investigating. What do you think, Professor? Should we go check this guy out? Sure. Great. Let's tell the others. Uh, really? <sighs> okay. Hey. Are we gonna be flying here as well? We have to take no one here right now. Okay. I'll just do it. The more we look into this guy, the more I see he's a monster and no good for my Ingrid. No kidding. There's no denying it. We better get back to the monastery. <laughs> Hold on a minute, you brats. Hand over the girl. Surely you can't mean me. Wait, did he send them? This jerk figures he can grab Ingrid before things get too messy for him. Of course, we know the truth about him now, and he'll want to kill us and get rid of the evidence. But we'll never let him take Ingrid. Come on, let's hurry! <laughs> Protect Ingrid! Don't let anyone get near her! Haha! <laughs> You'll never escape! Damn! Ready! Stay focused. As expected. It seems I've exhausted this topic. I'll cut through. 
You never had a chance. I will get stronger yet. I'll give it my all. I'll go. You're weak. Here we go. Yeah. Thanks. I'm on it. Hey, and they're gonna hold up what the rear. That's my cue. I'll increase the reward. Now hurry up and capture that girl. That merchant is giving orders to the bandits. I bet if we take him out, reinforcements will cease. Or we can just get you to the safe spot. This is like a better idea. Okay, we are gonna finish this battle on the next episode. So, yeah, who knew there was a dude trying to kidnap Ingrid, you know, whatever. Oh, I've played this quest before, so it's whatever. Um, honestly, it's not even that hard of a paralogue, so if you're trying to do an easy paralogue, so we will continue on the next one. Thanks for watching.